वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल आई एम प्रियंका शर्मा बैक अगेन विथ माई वीडियो ऑन जे सी पी गूगल क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ टूडे वी आर गोन आर लर्न समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इट्स द क्लाउड स्टोरेज वॉट अ क्लाउड स्टोरेज इज अ क्लाउड स्टोरेज अलाउज वर्ल्ड वाइड स्टोरेज एंड रिट्रीवल ऑफ एनी अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा एट एनी टाइम यू कैन यूज क्लाउड स्टोरेज फॉर अ रेंज ऑफ सिनारियोज इंक्लूडिंग सर्विंग वेबसाइट कंटेंट स्टोरिंग डेटा और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लार्ज डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू यूजर्स वी आर डायरेक्ट डाउनलोड नाउ विद इन अ क्लाउड स्टोरेज वी आर गोन अ मेक टूडे इज अ बकेट इट इज अ फ्लेक्सीबल स्केलेबल एंड ड्यूरेबल स्टोरेज ऑप्शन for your vm instances you can read and write files to it from almost anywhere so you can use buckets as a common storage between your instances so here we go and let us firstly begin with the cloud console firstly as i told you before we need to sign in on sign up through your gmail account or from anywhere you want to log in so just log in into this page this console and then move to storage and storage is here within storage we have to go to the browser and now we need to create a bucket so click on create bucket we have to name the bucket and uh, let me tell you that the name should be unique so i am going to name it as m l a i t 1 and this means without any error if there is no warning message in your console near name column then it is said that the name is unique and you can proceed further and don't panic if you get a warning message you just need to rename or to modify the name of your bucket after doing this we have to select the default storage class you may select anything you want i am selecting in multi region and leaving it as default then location i am selecting as asia as an indian then the most important one is this the storage cost the gcp can cost this as per the bucket and you need to make sure that you should use the bucket as per your need and if you are uh, storing data in cloud storage for an event and the event is going to be on 1st feb then you need to take care that the registration time the doc files which you want to upload they should be of a time period so that your you may not cost more and the functionality of that uploaded data will be smooth and good enough so that the purpose of your uploading data will be satisfied as well as the cost will be less so please remember this thing and then proceed further and click on create it will take time for 30 to 40 seconds then this is the bucket details we are getting here we need to upload files click on upload files then from here i'm going to select something let's go to other location lenovo programming html and i'm going to select this main.html file click open and you will be opening a new console and this is what i am telling about i got a message of finished it means the data has been uploaded in your cloud so close this window and here we go this is the main.html and it got uploaded on the cloud now we have to make it a fully access or a partially access however you want to need so this public access column is mentioned as not public so it is not public yet we need to edit it so go to this and then to edit permissions now add item select whatever you want as in a group domain project or user to whom you want to share this user then write 
all users to everyone i'm making it public so that's why and the access is two ways we can give the access as an owner or as a reader so i gave it as reader so that the files which i am uploading cannot be edited by anyone else so i'm just giving them as a reader access then click on save it is getting saved now we are here then we need to click on this link it will open in a new tab and here this is my resume a kind of resume for your convenience i am just uploading i had uploaded this and this is what we need to do now you can see that here the image is not visible for that we need to upload the image also so go to upload files again and select the image this is the image i selected of mine and open it and it is getting uploaded it's got finished close the console then select this edit permissions add item the same as we have done before all users the reader accessibility and then save now we are done with the image also click on this and you will get only the image in this and while the other one this was the thing which i uploaded before the main.html page now we need to refresh this and now we got my image so this is how you need to upload the data and as per your needs you can do anything with it now i am done with my illustration so i am going to delete these things so that no storage is getting wasted and it may cost less also so select the bucket name and click on delete confirm the delete one and now the bucket which i created got deleted so that's all from my side guys hope you like this video and if you do so then please like share and subscribe this thank you so much for watching this stay connected bye bye